Hello, Zaka Triple Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to disable Windows 10 tracking features. So there's been a lot of articles in the news recently um, about if Windows 10 tracks you um, and much different things like that. Now there have been some programs that have been working on disabling it, um, but my problem with them was they also install adware and it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing in general. Recently on Reddit, a um, user by the name of 10 sec one you got Sego or something like that. I'll have a link in the description below. He created a open source application that disables or deletes the services that track and report back to Microsoft um, all the data in general. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use this program and uh, make Windows 10 not steal so much information from you. So I'll have this, li this link. The web I'll have a link to this website in the description below. Um, it's the GitHub uh, website for the Windows 10 uh, disabling tr tracking uh, application. And if you scroll down to the bottom there, the download section, you can click the .exe file, and it's a pretty small file, so it shouldn't take too too long to download. When you open it up, you have to give it admin rights, otherwise it will simply not work. So make sure you say yes to uh, the UAC control. And now we have the options to disable and or delete the features. So it has all the features, um, including the telemetry, the services, um, the, even the IP addresses and domains. So all you gotta do is uncheck or check off all the ones you want and then choose the mode privacy and then hit go. So basically uh, privacy means it disables those ones you select. If you hit revert, any ones that are selected, it will undo what it did unless you delete them. If you delete them, it can't undo them. So basically you select everything, hit privacy, hit go. It will take a couple seconds to process and then it will give you the information. It even removes the OneDrive link in Windows Explorer. And that's pretty much it. On the bottom, we have the option to be able to uh, disable some built-in or uninstall some built-in apps. So that's pretty cool if you're if you want to install some apps and free up some hard drive space. Um, but guys, that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those below as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and I'm signing off.